What's up, y'all? What's up, YouTube? And everybody else out there, Facebook. Um, it's man Quincy Whetstone, aka Q Stone. And I know I've been gone for a little while as far as my videos and my YouTube and things like that. Just kind of speaking my voice and uh, saying what's on my mind. But uh, I've been working. And it's just me right now. I got a few people helping me here and there. But as far as a lot of stuff I'm doing right now, it's just me. So I can't. I can make videos. I do all my videos pretty much. Uh, and then so I, I got to edit my videos and stuff. And I perform. And uh, I do some other stuff as well. So I don't really have time, you know, to do anything. I really need an assistant. I need, I don't have any management right now. Everything out of my booking, I'm doing myself and everything, I, everything I'm setting up myself. I got some people that helps me get in certain shows who call me and be like, I got a show for you here and there. But for the most part, I'm doing a lot of stuff by myself, my website and things like that. And my marketing, my promotion, it's all me. So eventually uh, I'm, I'm leaning towards getting somebody to help me. Or you know whatever God has in store, whatever He has in store. But uh, but yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video about uh, friends and fans. See, I know a lot of like artists I know be like, man, my friends don't even help me uh, post my stuff, my music online. They don't buy my music. They always posting somebody who already out, always uh, sharing their stuff. And I was like, man, and like I was telling like one of my friends, you know, really. You calling this person your friend, but are they really your friend? Like, when the last time you talked to them? Like, I know y'all went to high school together or elementary school together, but you don't even know who this person is no more. You don't know this person. Family, you don't know who they married to, you don't know where they work, you don't know their kids' names. So are they really your friends? No, they are just people, or what did it say? They're strangers with memories, who you had memories with. But really, man, these people that you call your friends, you might not even know, you might not even like them no more. You might not even consider them to be a friend because of their lifestyle or whatever, but they really not your friends no more. So it's your job to make this person who you call your friend a fan. You can't force your friends to like your music just because they, they're your friends. They like everybody else's music because they enjoy listening to it. So you have to make some like uh, some music that they enjoy listening to. It's just like with somebody um with me and t-shirts, right? I won't buy an artist t-shirt or wear an artist t-shirt unless I like it. I support sometimes, but if I if, if I like it, I'm gonna support it for real. I'm gonna support it and wear it. But if I can't wear it, if I don't like how it look, you know, you can't be mad at me because I don't buy it, you know, just to say I bought it now if it's and uh, it goes the same with your music if they don't like your music you can't be mad if they're not sharing it they don't want to share nothing that they're not listening to so it's your job to make that person a fan you can't you can't just say just because I, I went to high school with them I went to elementary I worked with them that they should share my music and buy my music no if they don't like it you can't be mad at them you know what I'm saying it's just like Anybody else who's, who's who who considered a famous artist is people who don't like certain artists because they don't like their music. You know what I'm saying? So it just you the same way. You have to make your friend, your colleague, your uh, associate become a fan by making good music, by making good product. Because people love to support, but at the same time, you got to give them something back. You can't just say support me. And then I spent twenty dollars, ten dollars on your CD, ten dollars on your shirt. They don't like your CD, and they don't wear your shirt. You know, so it kind of goes back and forth. You know, so you give them something, and they give you something, and then that's how you make them a fan. They become a fan of what you're doing. They come and start to follow what you're doing, and that's what it is. So I just wanted to say that, man. The people, if you don't know their wife name, where they work, their kids name, what they do for a living. They're not your friend no more. So you have to make them your fan. And you gotta make who you consider your your or your friends now your fan too. Cause your friends, you making you making your uh you making your friends feel bad because they really don't like your stuff, but they love you so much, they just, you know, but when they get your stuff, they were like, you know, he got some work to do. You know, that's my that's that's my boy, man. This is CD, but you know, I just I support him, but you know, he he can work on this, he can work on that. But anyway. All I'm saying is, just 
make your friends, your associates, you have to make them your fan. That's all I got to say. Follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Quincy Whetstone. I got music out. I hope you become a fan of my music. And uh, I already don't let nobody, no situation dictate how your day going to go. I already. Peace.